Hello, BookTube community. So, <clears throat> I'm at home, sick as a dog, nothing to do, so what better way to pass my time than to read? And so, between sleeping, I've been reading, um, and as such, I finished my next magazine. So, Reptiles Magazine was the next one I finished. This is the September-October issue, because of course we're not going to do a monthly magazine, we're going to do a bi-monthly magazine and save us some money. Um, I'll say it again, and I'll probably say this with every review, there is a really sad lack of education and even really entertainment in the reptile field here in Canada. There are very few expos, I would kill to go to an expo, very few expos, very few magazines that are even worth their snot in, in any kind of capacity uh, for reptiles. So. The reason that I do continue to subscribe to this magazine is because there just aren't any that are comparable. Um, and probably even after I lose my beloved Igor, I'll continue to read these magazines because eventually I'll probably get another reptile. Um, this one was very good. It had a entire article, or, or its feature article was on panther chameleons. And I actually learned a fair amount on these guys because when I was around, panther chameleons... Um, were hard to keep alive, beautiful animals, but they didn't last long. And even here it says that the lifespan of most of these panther chameleons are, are three to eight years. So that's the sad part, but beautiful pictures on these panther chameleons. Um, enjoyed the article. I think I blew by the article in just a few minutes. There's see the nice little blue green one. Um, that was probably my favorite article on this. There was some other information about um, ball pythons, or boa, sorry, boa constrictors. Love boa constrictors. Um, husband won't let me have a snake, but which is probably good because I've got cats, which would make a good meal to a boa constrictor. Um, so really enjoyed that article. The only thing that I was a little bit leery about on, on this one was they had a final article on um, cobras and spitting cobras. and educational article, beautiful pictures, well-written article. It makes me nervous though because I know there are a lot of people out there who say, oh I'm gonna get these and, and end up killing themselves with these with these venomous snakes and guess who suffers from that? It's not them. I mean they're dead and gone most of the time. It's the snakes and then it's the legislation that says that you're not allowed to keep any kind of reptile because they're dangerous. And yes the article says that you know of course only the, the um, most educated and certified animal people should have these animals which is all well and good, but how many people out there are thinking, oh, well, I'm, I'm an expert in reptiles, I'm going to have a, a um, spitting cobra or, or that kind of thing, because it'll be cool. Um, and don't do the education and, and understand the danger of, of what's going on. Um, so that worried me a bit. But all in all, really good issue. I think I will continue to subscribe to this issue. It might make the January cut. We'll see. Um, I will get back to you guys in January. Um, but yeah, I think I need to go back to bed because I'm still very tired and I need to find some energy to uh, go up and see how my horse is recovering from her show. Um, so yeah, thanks very much guys and have a good day.